If you're on the hunt for an exciting and vibrant travel destination, Hong Kong's the right place for you. Like many big cities on this planet, this one is among those locations that can keep you coming back for a few days and always feel excited. It's a skyscraper-packed metropolitan that also has a lot of open green areas that are sprinkled with hiking paths, pristine coastlines, and subtropical vegetation. All in all, it's at once both precisely what you'd anticipate and completely shocking. This city's also home to some of the most fascinating sights in the world. Whether you're a history enthusiast, an avid eater, or a nature admirer, it has something for all people. So come along as we explore our favorite activities in Hong Kong. Number 10. Taking a Tram Ride as the oldest operating funicular railway on the continent, the Peak Tram has been transporting passengers to and from Central to the summit of Victoria Peak since 1888. Before the tram, so-called coolies carried European officials on sedan chairs on their way to the majestic summit. Thankfully, time eventually made room for a more effective and compassionate method of transportation. Although the ride only lasts eight minutes, the ascent has a very steep gradient and feels nearly vertical. You'll definitely want to stay in your seat on this fun ride as it feels very similar to a roller coaster that's moving at a slow pace. Peep through the expanded windows and skylight ceilings as you ascend above the vast expanses of verdant vegetation. Up to 210 people can ride the tram at once on the most recent version, which is 75% more than on the previous one. Due to the increased capacity, lines and crowds will be much shorter. A more spacious waiting area with an immersive showcase of flora and fauna has also been added to the lower terminus, making the visit more leisurely for guests. Number 9. Visiting Central Market Hong Kong's historic Central Market is reopened after an arduous four years of renovations. This building, which is located along the Devo Road, has undergone renovations and is now referred to by the government as a playground for all. Having said that, this location offers a unique blend of food vendors, event areas, and more. The location's overall goals are to promote innovation, historic preservation, and the development of community. The building itself was widely admired for its avant-garde and practical style when it was constructed in 1939. It's continued to be recognized as a noteworthy instance of traditional Bauhaus architecture in Hong Kong ever since. Number 8. Taking Selfies at the Mural Village this small village is well known for its distinctive murals, which show a variety of subjects, including adorable cats, everyday life scenes, and much more. Kwok Ying Ming, a local art teacher, was the one who encouraged students to paint their aspirations and communicate their creativity through various surfaces here. Number 7. Make Offerings at the Man Mo Temple The Man Mo Temple is a historic Chinese building that's important for the community. Situated on Hollywood Road, it was built as a tribute to Man and Mo, the gods of war and literature. That being said, there are times when you can see the temple crowded with students hoping to do well on their exams. It's located not far from the central MRT station. You just need to take the D1 or D2 exit. Make sure you dress appropriately and cover your major body parts before visiting this location. In addition, keep in mind that this is a place of worship and try to keep your camera's flash off while taking pictures. Number 6. Enjoying the Outdoors at Sai Kung Peninsula Sai Kung represents one of the loveliest escapes in the area. It offers scuba diving, kayaking, and many other types of water adventures that travelers might not imagine themselves doing in a place like Hong Kong. It also offers an abundance of alfresco restaurants that make it worthy of making the trip up the peninsula. Sai Kung is a seaside community, so it shouldn't come as a surprise that there are a number of exceptional seafood eateries here. Go around the town center if you only have one day to spend there. You can shop at neighborhood boutique stores, have a drink at one of the coffee shops, dine at a seafood restaurant, or stroll along the waterfront. It may not be the most convenient area to get to. You can't go straight to Sai Kung from any MTR station. However, the stunning beaches and picturesque hiking trails make the effort worthwhile. To get here, take a minibus to the Sai Kung bus terminus from either the Hang Hao or Choi Hung MTR stations. Number 5. Exploring Kowloon City Kowloon's the place to go if you like exploring unfamiliar locales and discovering more about Hong Kong's rich past. The neighborhood offers an intriguing blend of contemporary and traditional city characteristics. It's also worth spending a few days or longer to get the most out of your visit because there are just so many things to do here. Kowloon is a must-see place in Hong Kong because of its eclectic mix of activities. Mong Kok, located at the northern tip of Kowloon, is a neighborhood known for its bloody hanging meats, eerie dark alleyways, and foul-smelling wet markets. 
To the south is Sim Sha Sui, which has gleaming skyscrapers, boutique shops, and exceptional dining establishments. Kowloon Walled City Park is located in the space between the district's northern and southernmost points. Originally nestled into the northeastern edge of the Kowloon Peninsula, it was dismantled during the Japanese control. Today, guests can spend the whole day in the garden inspired by the Qing Dynasty, which is open daily until 11 p.m. Number 4. Taking Your Kids to the Hong Kong Space Museum one place you shouldn't miss is the Hong Kong Space Museum. Up to 100 exhibits can be held simultaneously in its two main exhibition halls. Through engaging and cutting-edge materials, visitors can discover new facts about space exploration and astronomy at these dynamic and interactive exhibits. If you're bringing your family with you, don't forget to enjoy the astronomical movies. The film screenings take place every Saturday at around 3 p.m. in the lecture room, and one of the most widely attended shows is the Moon Miracle. The Moon Landing Workshop is another great activity for the kids. Number 3. Riding the Observation Wheel The Observation Wheel is a must-see for anyone looking to see Hong Kong from above. It provides sweeping views of some of the most recognizable sights in Hong Kong. This attraction, which is 60 meters high, is the ideal way to see everything the city has to offer. There are 47 enclosed gondolas to choose from, or for an even more thrilling ride, choose the VIP gondola. Number 2. Shop at the Night Markets Hong Kong night markets are well known across the globe. There isn't a more direct or easier way to experience the street culture and cuisine of the former British colony than visiting one of these places. So forget about cliches and tourist traps because these locations are going to provide you with the true gateway to China. One of Hong Kong's most well-known night markets is undoubtedly Temple Street. It's conveniently located near public transportation, and the locals go there for mouth-watering Cantonese food and fortune-telling. Mong Kok Ladies Market is an option if you'd like to visit somewhere less touristy. Number 1. Finding Peace at the Sishan Monastery The newest monastery in Hong Kong is tucked away in the verdant hills outside of the city. It has the second tallest statue of Guan Yin in the world, which people worship when they want blessings and tranquility. Standing at 76 meters, it offers a view of the surrounding area and the harbor. The monastery is a particularly sacred location where you can expect to escape the hustle and bustle of the city. Up to 500 people can stay there each day and reservations and online registration are required in advance. Don't worry, you'll not see any crowded excursion groups at this place. Whether you're a Buddhist or not, the monastery offers you an opportunity to experience Hong Kong's outdoors. In addition to exploring the monastery, guests can partake in a variety of other activities, such as walking meditation and Zen calligraphy. The Thousand Wishes Pond is another option for visitors. The Takeaway Hong Kong offers anyone who visits it a juxtaposition that's exceptionally revitalizing. Spend several days immersed in the city's hectic pace, and you'll be able to see that it's one of the most unique and thrilling destinations in the world. Flying is the most typical way for people to land in this exciting city. It's only a few hours' flight away from many big cities. On top of that, the food here is amazing, and there's also an abundance of things to do, making it a great destination for any type of traveler. It's best to pick an accommodation near the city center, though, especially if this is your first time here. Public transportation options are plenty in the area. It'll make it easy for you to explore anything from Shang Wan to the Causeway Bay. Guys, make sure to also check out the best restaurants Hong Kong has to offer in the video being displayed on your screen. See you in the next video.